Hello everyone, I'm John. I'm Rebecca. And this is Good, Good to, to know. know. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to do one of our, we have this in the kitchen, we use it. We don't use it all the time because it we really don't. keeps them sharp. Yeah, but um, I went and got some knives at my, par at my, my parents' house and uh, they're dull. I mean dull, won't even cut tomato. You know, it wouldn't cut butter, butter. if it was heated. So <laughs> we're going to show you how our chef uh, Diamond Home Sharpener 100 works. Rebecca's going to demonstrate it. Uh, each knives are different. Just pretending, I mean, just because these blades are so dull, it's going to be a little, little difficult than ours. We're not do shredded. I mean, serrated blades. These, okay. these are uh, straight edge blades. You want to use? So Rebecca, let's. Like John said, this is the Chef's Choice Diamond Hone Sharpener Model 100. There's a newer model out, it's the Model 110, and it's on sale at Amazon. Or not on sale, it's for sale on Amazon. And I'm going to turn it around this way so I can go from left to right. I like this sharpener because it has three stages to it. The first stage is so you can hone the edge of the blade, and you don't have to do this each time you sharpen a knife, just when it just really gets uh, out of alignment and honing it is the straight edge if you look at it this way and this is so easy these it's magnetic so it will kind of hold the blade and it just guides it at the right angle if you can see that this is it's not straight up and down it is at the correct angle this is a 20 degree angle it's based on US uh, standard and it'll just guide the knife through at the right angle so you don't have to do any guesswork. And the same thing on the polishing sides. And it's not really just polishing, this is where you actually get the knife sharpened. So this one will straighten the blade, or straighten the edge, and these will actually do the sharpening. So this, this knife is so out of whack, we're going to go ahead and give it the full treatment. And I'm not going to talk during this so that we can speed it up for you. Now this does take a little getting used to. It kind of moves itself. You just have to kind of guide it. But don't try to force it too fast. Just do it, you know, at a, at a slower speed. And you should pass this through the honing side maybe three times. And I can already feel that this blade is getting So sharp. now I'm going to go on the sharpening side. how we did. Now this will put off some metal dust from what it's cutting off of your blade. That's why I put it on a paper towel. And then make sure you wipe or wash your blades after you're done. So this one has definitely improved. It's still not as sharp. Well, it's a lot sharper than it was. It's not as, uh, I mean it's sharper than I thought it would be. Yeah, it wouldn't cut paper the first time. So it's cutting now. It's a nice sharper edge. You can tell it did scratch the blade a little bit, but not significantly, and especially right on that honed edge. I can see that that edge has been honed. So I guess the next time I want to sharpen this knife, if I don't want it, or if I don't need it to be honed, you should be able to tell by looking at that blade for how much the honing is left. So like I said, this will do multiple types of knives. And John pointed out, um, I did do this wrong the first time around. But if you, when you're doing this part, if you slide it down, instead of trying to put it down here, just slide it down and then slip it through towards you. And just be very careful when doing this because I don't want anybody to write in and tell me that they've cut themselves doing it. Um, you've already seen me demo on one knife. I don't think you need to see all of our knives get sharpened this way. 
but I do want to tell you I do recommend this. We have so many types of knife sharpeners. We've got uh, the one that you pull the blades through like a pair of scissors. Um, we've got the uh, can opener sharpener. The can opener, the one that's on the back of my can opener. And um, I do have a honing steel that I right. use all the time. He loves that steel and this probably will not ever compare to the steel and I know it will never compare to the stone. However, if you're not really um, experienced with those stones, don't try it because you can mess up a nice knife or a cheap one for that matter. This uh, sharpener will do anything from your hunting knife, scissors, um, just your utility knives, household knives. Uh, Show them where it turns on that. I don't think oh. it shows the switch. Easy on off switch. And it has a cover for this so that you remember that you don't have to use the honing side each time. Uh, it, like I said, it does cut or it does sharpen many types of blades and just be very careful with a sharp knife. But did you know that a sharp knife is actually safer than a dull knife because you don't have to apply as much pressure to use it uh, to make your cuts? So we recommend the Chef's Choice. We've got uh, other products made by them. We've got a real nice meat slicer that we'll be doing a review yeah, for you. And um, I'm just, I'm really pleased. This has a two-year warranty. And go check it out on Amazon. I think you'll like it too. And uh, let's see, it's small, easy to store. Get you one. All right, we're gonna wrap this up again. Um, if you like using regular home, regular sharpening blades, that's fine. Uh, but again, this will put, as Rebecca said at the very beginning, the most important thing it'll put the proper angle on your blade. In other words, the honing is folding each side over back to a center point, and the rest just busts it up. And that's exactly what a steel does, it rolls that dull blade back over into a point so uh, we, we get we have we use this all the time I know I do so when she's not here sometimes and we have a dull knife you don't want to use it so much as you just start wearing your blade down just remember that and that's why she said only use the um, the honing part when you absolutely need it to get that edge back up and you'll know when you need it yeah and you'll like your, your knives will last forever. This, this, is, this is a professional knife sharpener and it will do the trick. And for those of you who've never sharpened your own knives other than using the back of your uh, can opener, this is really going to make you oh, pleased yeah. with the performance. That back of your can blades. opener will <laughs> grind your knife down to nothing. So, Alright, we want to thank y'all. I'm John. I'm Rebecca. Uh, please check out our cooking show over there. I'm Chef John. And, and she's I'm Rebecca. still Rebecca. So, <laughs> Go check out our cooking channel. It's called uh, we Cast Iron Skillet Kitchen. Cast Iron Skillet Kitchen. We also have our cooking show on Roku. So if you want to watch us there. Uh, most important, y'all come back, hit that thumbs up. And we try to answer every question that comes through or every, comment. Every comment. We love them. We love those things. Yes, we do. All right. Thank you for joining us. Bye. See you next time on Good to Know. Good to Know.